Okay, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to adjust your uh, your headlight, uh, the height, and whether it points to the left or the, to the right of where it's supposed to as you're going down the road. Okay, the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to recruit some help. So I've got Margaret. She's going to get on the bike. <clears throat> and the first thing you got to do is take a tape measure <clears throat> when she lifts the bike up, keeps it upright, centered. And you're going to measure from the floor with the tape measure up to the center of the high beam bulb. So the center of the high beam bulb is 34 inches on mine. Now what you're going to do is you're going to find a wall and you're going to get the, the bike 25 feet back from a wall and you're going to measure that 34 inches up and come 2.1 inches down and make a mark on the wall. So we're going to do that next. Okay, so then I'm going to, then I'm going to come 25 feet away on the back back wall of my garage and I'm going to measure up 32 inches It'll be right there I'm going to put a piece of painters tape like that and I'm going to draw a mark on it 32 inches there you go that's 32 inches that's going to be the height of your of your bulb. Now, at the same time, you're going to want to make a cross in there. And the hard part here is getting the bike lined up with that center point because that's going to be your, your headlight adjustment to the left or to the right. So it's pretty critical that you get straight ahead with this. The high beam's on. The high beam's way up here, as you can see. The high beam is supposed to be in the center of the X. So I need to uh, lower that or I'm going to be blowing. Um, light up in the air into people's eyes and also I'm not going to be getting the full benefit of the uh, motorcycle's uh, headlight. Okay so the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get the uh, headlight door off which is what Harley calls this chrome ring. There's a screw down underneath. It's a Phillips head screw. It goes in at a weird angle. It's really actually pretty hard to get back in. I don't like it. Now you can do this supposedly by sticking a screwdriver through here but I don't like to because I'm afraid I'm going to mess up the uh, the uh, rubber seal as you stick a screwdriver through there so I'm just going to take it off. So to adjust these, the headlight you've got, a, you've got a adjustment screw on the left side the right side and the top so basically if you loosen the left the, the, or the right side here it'll make the headlight turn to the left if you loosen the, the, the left side will make the headlight turn to the right, or you can tighten this side and it'll make it turn to the right or left. And you'll loosen the top to bring the bulb down or tighten it to move the bulb up. So in this case, my light's really high, so I'm actually going to have to loosen it and that'll make the beam begin to move down. Okay, so you can get a long Allen wrench, you're going to put it up in there. And in our case, I've got to loosen it to make it come down. And you'll just loosen it and there's a spring behind this bolt and that's what's going to push it out. So I'm going to actually do this um, and I'm going to put the camera on the wall. You probably won't be able to hear uh, what I'm saying because it's going to be 25 feet away, but you'll be able to see the bulb or the beam move down as I loosen this top bolt. You see it's going down. I've got the uh, LED lights it's a little bit different. I got like I got like two beams there. So now I've got the beam pretty much centered with that cross where it was way up here before, and I really wouldn't have gotten the, the right effect on the the road as I needed. Okay, that was it. And then to finalize the installation or the uh, the headlight adjustment, you'll put your uh, headlight door back on. and put your screw in and that'll be it. So anyways, I hope that helps. Um, the hard part with this is really not the height. The hard part is lining the headlight up straight with the bike and getting it in the center point of that cross that you make on the wall because that's going to affect whether the, the, the light is shining too far to the left or to the right. But once you figure out those parameters, it's as you can see, it's real easy. It's just three screws that you turn either clockwise or cl counterclockwise 
to uh, get that headlight to uh, uh, adjust to the right right angle. So once again, ride strong, wrench proud, and be sure and visit my uh, website at rideitwrenchit.com and subscribe to my Ride It Wrench It channel.